let's use more phrases, liven up your English with groups of words. Tonight, I'm going to be speaking to you about different types of phrases in English. First kind of phrase is a noun phrase. These are the simplest kind of phrases. Basically, we are taking words and adding them on to the noun. For example, the father of waters is the Mississippi River. An easy way to spot a noun phrase is the fact that you can replace it with the word it. It is the Mississippi River. Noun phrases can be the subject or the object, or they can be part of a prepositional phrase in the sentence. The next kind of phrase is a verb phrase or verbals. These may include the verb plus the complement or the object. So he is running towards the bus. And running is the verb, toward the bus is the complement. He is running quickly towards the bus. Here the phrase is interrupted by the word, the adverb, quickly. He is running quickly toward the bus that is headed, so heading southbound. This is a very long sentence. And you can see that we keep adding parts on to this one verb phrase. Next up is the gerund. Gerunds are easy to spot. They're ing words. And they can be the subject, the objects, or the subject complements. Here is an example. Skiing is my favorite sport. Skiing uphill in a blizzard is my favorite sport. You can see we are adding words onto the gerund to make it more complicated. We can also use it part of a possessive as a subject complement. Mike's uphill skiing skill is very good. Next kind of phrase is the infinitive phrase. We have two plus a verb. Nouns, adjectives, or adver adverb functions within the sentence. To love unconditionally is a selfless thing. To love is a subject, right? You need to study for your finals if you want to pass the class, right? You need to study for your finals. So for your finals as a preposition to study, here is the subject. No, it's the object. Next up is the prepositional phrase. Everybody's favorite because you have to memorize so many prepositions to use them correctly. It can act as an adjective or as an adverb. Josie is inside the store. Inside the store, it's a verb complement. Josie is the girl with the blue eyes. Here it's an adjective. I will give you a call in the morning. That is an adverb. Kind of tricky one is in a positive phrase. It it gives a me another name to the noun right next to it. So my puppy, a Maltese and Havanese mix, is uh oh my window is on top of the, the text here. My puppy, a Maltese and Havanese mix, is gentle and smart. So it's actually pretty easy. You just put a little phrase next to the subject that you're modifying. Sometimes people find participles a little bit complicated, but they're actually not that bad. It looks kind of like a verb, but it's functioning as an adjective. Let's take a, let's analyze one here. Sitting in the drunk drawer, my glasses were pushed to the back. And the junk drawer, sitting in the junk drawer, my glasses are the subject, right? So my glasses are the subject. They are sitting in the junk drawer. Here we have deleted the they, and we're just saying sitting in the junk drawer, and we put a little comma here. This is modifying my glasses. It's fun. It's like music. Wagging her tail, my puppy greets me at the door. Versus, this is the, the gerund phrase form. Wagging her tail is my puppy's way of showing affection. So see, you can replace it with it here. That is how you tell the difference. Participle versus the gerund. 
Finally, we have the absolute phrase. This is absolutely my favorite kind of phrase because it is so much fun to use. You can put it in the middle, the beginning, the end of the sentence, and you make really, you can make some really, 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 really long sentences with this phrase. And it sounds so erudite and cool when you use them. Basically, it's just a noun or pronoun with a participle phrase. Here's an example. Its branches covered in icicle, the tall oak stood in our yard. Right, so this is not a complete sentence. It's just a piece of a sentence. Its branches covered in icicles, right? There's no, no subject here. The tall oak stood in our yard. This is the standalone sentence, but we're modifying the tall oak. These take a little bit of practice, but they're great fun. Well, folks, that brings us to the end of my speech tonight. I'm sorry we don't have more time to discuss the different kinds of phrases and how to use them. It's just something you're going to have to try on your own and to enrich your writing and your speaking and your life. So basically, just remember, they function in sentences like nouns, adverbs, adjectives. There's no subject, but a predicate, like a verb, like a regular sentence. That's why it's a phrase. And common types of phrases that I have reviewed today are the noun, the gerund, infinitive, a positive, participle, prepositional, and absolute. Thank you for listening.